Okay, um, let's gossip with this bartender. Talk about bizarre stories. This is incredible. A Kilrathi attack. Yeah, we heard him say that. Um, all right, we'll talk to Taryn. Thinking twice before bailing out? Smart boy. This is easy money if there ever was such a thing. All you need to do is pilot through the beta system and use the jump points there, which should take you to the uncharted gamma system. Fly the loop pattern in your nav comp by hitting each nav point in sequence. Complete the mapping spiral through gamma and hurry back here and collect your 10,000 credits. Sounds easy enough. So why are unmentionable portions of my body spontaneously puckering? Don't let the disappearances bother you. Just focus on the mission at hand, okay? <laughs> oh, thanks for your advice. Ah, why not? Some say life is hell and death an escape. Others say heaven awaits us in the world beyond. But either way, I need a new pair of shoes. <laughs> uh, if you can't apply such a life philosophy, then you are truly lost. Um, Alright, well, let's go explore the gamma system then. Still friendly with the pirates, I'm not sure what's going on with the militia though. Oops. In case I haven't really showed you just where we're going really. Um, so here's where we started. Went from Delta, Beta, Gamma. So we're pretty far into uncharted territory here. It's not like these systems really jump to these. Um, I don't think this map is necessarily representative of uh, locations in the universe. They're just relative per jump point. So for all you know, these two could be closer in real space. Or at least really far away than, say, maybe these two. But the jump point is what connects them anyway. There wasn't really a lot of effort in with the Wing Commander lore to explain how jump points work, what their whole, uh, the science behind them is. I do believe they are a naturally occurring phenomenon. These aren't like man-made wormholes or anything. And so they just sort of plotted their progress along the routes of the natural jump points. Supposedly. I think that's about it. Alright, I'm gonna talk these Kirathi down. I leave you for my brothers to kill. I leave you for my brothers to kill. The Jothai now only have those uh, laser cannons, but in Righteous Fire they actually carry a fishing cannon in them, so you gotta take them a lot more seriously at that point. Hey buddy, take care. Looking sharp, eh? At least there's no, uh, militia out in these uncharted territories. I guess I shouldn't call them uncharted anymore, as I have charted them. I do think the concept of the uh, exploratory service is kind of interesting, though. Like, they don't seem to work for the military, and, uh, they... They just kind of seem like independent contractors, really. So, will we find anything in the Gamma system? Who knows? To recap a bit, in the... Uh, so, in the Delta system, we found a bunch of hostile pirates. And in the beta system, we found Captain Selig, who was crazy because he saw some crazy stuff. And 
and now we're gonna see if anything's in the gamma system. And, uh, I am totally neglecting my homework right now just to bring you this video, so I hope you appreciate it. I'll get it done, I always do. It's this asteroid field that irritates me more. One flew right past the camera there. More pirates. Forget this meat happened. We got no problem. They're actually talking to us more like we're neutral. Not looking for trouble, Ace. Otherwise they tell you looking sharp, Ace. just a lot of waiting on this mission. I think that's kind of what makes it fun. I mean, you gotta imagine space exploration. There would just, you know, there's naturally just gonna be parts that are boring because you just gotta fly through a lot of space and whatnot. Oh, oh, we got Kirathi here in the system, it would seem. And I got an asteroid field to deal with. So luckily these are only Drowthai, and I'm pretty sure we can't talk these guys down out of a fight because they're part of what we're here to discover, so... so. A deadly blow! I salute you! <laughs> so good. So far so good. What's really satisfying is if we can witness these uh, Kirati flying to some asteroids. Oh, that one almost hit it. Oh. Alright, those missiles will keep that one busy for a bit. Nice. Oh, that went pretty well. We took a bit of damage there, but the repair droid should take care of the rest. And we didn't take uh, too much damage to our armor. I kind of hate how that's right in the middle of these other jump points. Hopefully as I jump from here to here to here, I can avoid the asteroid field of this one. Oh wait, did I go through that one? Oh yeah, I jumped in it. Oops. <laughs> you know, I, I saw that coming and I was getting ready to shoot it. I just didn't do it in time. <sighs> See, that's the problem. You can be all proud that you came through a battle okay, but then I take all that damage to my armor. It's just great. And we still got 18 missiles left. It just means we don't want to take another hit to our front armor like that again. It'll definitely kill us. Who do we got? Your death will okay, more Jothai, but there's no asteroids here, so I'm gonna totally gun it here. You are hardly worthy of my fire. You know, again, that's one of the things they say when you're damaged. But those guys didn't even damage me. Their brothers back at Nav 1 damaged me. 
They're just totally taking credit for someone else's work. Fight back! There is no honor in slaughter! I'll point out that line where I think I, uh, I already mentioned that before. I think. Sometimes I forget what I talk about in this game. So I'd probably repeat myself a lot. Oh, your shields are going down. Those puny lasers. I think what I like about lasers in the other Wing Commander games, well, particularly Wing Commander 3 and 4, is if you are flying a ship that has lasers, you can divert a lot of power from your weapons and give more to your shields or engines because the uh, laser consumes so little energy that uh, it doesn't need a lot of your power distribution. Hence, you can uh, give all that extra power to the other systems, which I usually give to, like, shields. I am battered human, yet unbeaten. Some Gothry? Gothry? Never sure how to pronounce that. These guys are tough just because of their aft turrets. You don't want to trail them for too long. They got Mison blasters, I believe, in their tail turret. Very good. You are hardly worthy of my fire. Sometimes I just let them get ahead of me for a while so they can take a pass at me. Maybe just kind of have a duel. kind of keeping an eye on my armor right now, so I'm not going to be ramming a lot of ships. Oh, more draw. Man, this place is swarming with Kirathi right now. Ah, see what I mean? I'm really trying not to take damage there to the front. The taunts, uh, the Kirathi taunts don't bother me that much, it's the pyre ones that really get to me. They're much more in my face. Oh, I got lucky that time. I could have easily died there. Fight back! There is no honor in slaughter! is seriously almost gone there in the front. Oh. That was quite a battle. And what I'm saying, like, I kind of like that about this mission is, yeah, it is kind of boring doing all the waiting and, you know, flying slowly through the asteroid fields, but it kind of builds up the suspense a little, and then by the time you finally get to uh, the Kilrathi here, it's just you're like, you kind of miss all those times you got to relax a little. Are there asteroids here? Yes. Okay, slow down. It's okay, I'm a little battle fatigued anyway, so... I, I really gotta be careful too. I can't take another hit to the front. Especially not an asteroid.
Yeah, yeah, I shouldn't even be risking trying to shoot them. I should just steer out of their way. But you'll see how impatient I am anyway. I'm still kind of tapping on my afterburners. On to now four. And that will complete our uh, charting of the gamma system. I do wonder how they decide where the nav points are going to be. I don't know if these are arbitrary locations or if there's a logic to all these being where they are. All of these asteroids explode exactly the same. No asteroid is unequal in this game. Got a fried circuit panel there to the left. something if the Kilrathi pilots ejected and you could salvage them. And they should have made it so you could like sell them to Confed for intelligence or something. That might have been interesting. Let's see what we got here. Oh dear. Your bones in my hall. We have got Gothry and we are flying in an asteroid field so we better take out some of these guys pretty quickly. Use up some missiles here. All right, that's good. Oh, that one hit an asteroid. <laughs> I hope you saw that. If not, go back and watch it again. You are hardly worthy of my fire. You sloppy pilots. Oh, what's this? Kamech? Kamech? I always kind of want to pronounce that like I'm speaking Klingon or something. Kamech. That's a Kirathi capital ship. I believe I promised you earlier in these recordings that we would get to fighting wars, and this is it. These things actually aren't that bad to take out. It's a lot worse actually in a... I'm gonna kill my speed here. It's a lot worse in the other Wing Commander games where these capital ships usually have turrets. Uh, for a ship this slow, it's pretty stupid for it not to have turrets on every single angle of the ship. Because as you can see here, I can just totally tail this guy. Fight back! There is no honor in slaughter! I believe he has an aft turret, but still, it's not gonna save him. Shields are pretty awesome, actually. I'll give him that. Hey, you know, his shields regenerate faster than I can take him out. Wasting missiles on them though, it's not doing a lot of good. Alright. Not quite as simple as I thought. I just don't have a lot of firepower against this thing. 
You actually don't want to take a full frontal barrage with this ship, because he's got like five guns that he fires at once, and they're pretty strong. He can take your shields down pretty quickly. I know I've like gone head on with a paradigm before, and if it fires a full salvo at you and you take it in the shields, like it's gonna take your shields out pretty quick. I've lowered my shields there just for some more energy. I probably shouldn't have done that. There we go. Nice. Oh, look at that beautiful debris there. That is a lot of debris. Very nice. <laughs> that was fun. Uh, where are we? <laughs> we got kind of off track there just pursuing that ship. Uh, that went very nicely. Uh, there are asteroids here, right? Yeah, there are. So yeah, what I did in the end there was just kill my shields. It was a bit of a risk, because once I lowered my shields, if he had hit me too much with his aft turret, you know, that could have... That could have finished me off, but... We got lucky. We were just at the right angle that I don't think he could hit us there. it for the gamma system. We are now going to head back. To right Ganon. Get our crappy 10,000 credits. Seriously, that's such an insult for this kind of mission. For how long it takes that they pay you 10,000 credits. I mean, luckily there's nothing we have to buy, but... I don't know, if I play Righteous Fire, I would like to have extra money to buy all those upgrades, because they're so awesome. Oh, asteroids. Asteroids near, says my nav computer. Are they here too? Yes. Uh. I gotta say, that was really fun taking out that ship. So luckily on the way back, we're just going to encounter those pirates which are friendly to us. So even if the militia still hate us, I think it was worth befriending the pirates at this point in the game. Those uh, red projectiles you saw coming out of the Kilrathi's uh, turret was a uh, plasma cannon. The mercenary hunters, uh, the ones that fly the Orions, they they usually come equipped with those um, plasma cannons too. Just enough fuel to get back. Well, that that kind of gave me worries too when I flew this mission. I mean, if you, if say you accidentally jumped when you didn't even mean to, like back to the system, like you'd be stranded out here without any fuel. 
There's no kind of refueling service in this game. Although that would be pretty cool if, like, maybe you could pay a ship 10,000 credits to come refuel you. There'd be a little cutscene for it. No, oh, you gotta be kidding me. I have got the asteroid blues out here. Oh, come on. I would tap on the afterburners more, but uh, judging by um, my armor there, I don't think it's a wise idea. Starfield, anyway. <laughs> Someone took the time to design all this floating debris out here. I think it's great. Gives you the illusion like you're really moving through space. Please tell me there's no asteroids here. I think we're good. So I got enough fuel for two more jumps, just enough to get us back to Rykanen. Which kind of raises the question, uh, if I have to go any further into this uh, uncharted territory, how am I going to get back? risk jumping without befriending all these guys. I should be okay. Of course, if I died, that would piss me off. And I took a few hits there. Now, I don't know if you've noticed, but actually when you're jumping out of the system, the game seems to go, like, really fast. Like, like everything is sped up. So as I'm shooting like this now, if someone was shooting at me like that while I was jumping, it would all be going in fast motion, which means you just take a lot more hits. You know what would be a really cool upgrade is some kind of overshield that was temporary and lasted you. Even if it lasted me five seconds, I could use it, hit my afterburners in this asteroid field and be okay. That'd be pretty awesome. I don't know, there's so much potential with this game. Possibly with some of the Privateer remakes, they've, they've added more things to it. I haven't really played many of the Privateer remakes. good just to punch our afterburners again. So will we get paid? We're at 213,000 right now. Now entering an automatic landing zone. Missions. Okay, looks like we got paid. As always, let's do a test save. Go to the ship dealer. We did pretty good there, just damage to our armor, really. Oh, wow. Used all but one missile. And let's talk to Terran, see how we did. Did you complete the run? 
Yeah, <laughs> no thanks to the Kilrathi. Kilrathi? What were they doing there? They were flying an inverted V, the usual formation for a broad sector sweep. But what could they be searching for, out here in the middle of nowhere? You tell me. Why is the Confed interested in mapping this sector anyway? I don't know. The top brass makes those decisions. I only implement them. If you're suggesting there's some kind of hidden agenda here... All I'm saying is, if the Confed is out here looking for something, it makes sense that the Kilrathi would share their interest. Anyway, they're the ones who've been trashing your ships all along. Makes sense, I guess. Up for another mapping run? It pays the usual 10,000 credits. Of course, it doesn't make complete sense. Not to me. No. If I'd wanted to tangle with Kilrathi, I'd have enlisted. Forget it. Too bad. Another run and we'd have finished with this sector. Alright, so... Gonna do our normal save. Let's gossip with the bartender. What's a guy do for fun around here? Drink, Drink some, some beer! beer. No, he's got nothing to say right now. So when we get back, we're gonna fly our final mission with Miss Cross here. And, uh... <laughs> someone really should get her a warmer coat there, I think. And, uh, and that should conclude our missions with the Exploratory Service. So, uh, hope to see you when I get back.